Hey everyone, and welcome back to XCOM 2! So, since we haven't heard anything about XCOM 3, I figured I'll do one more XCOM 2 campaign in 2021. So, here we are. I'm mostly using mods I already used in the past, there will be a mod list in the video description, but I got two new major mods, well, it's really one mod in two parts, sort of, it's the Hive and the Hive More which is fairly self-explanatory. It adds new types of chrysalids, new chrysalids everywhere, new mission types, things like that. Because nothing could possibly go wrong if you add more chrysalids to the game. I got some characters in my character pool, and, well, let's get started. This is probably not going to be every single day, but I'll see what I can do. So, we'll be playing on Legend, as usual. I haven't really played since my last campaign in 2019, so I might be a little bit rusty. Hopefully not too much. We'll find out. Definitely looking forward to this, however. I missed Bradford. The aliens need to know that we're serious, that we're ready to infiltrate the city centers and strike at their heart. To that effect, we're moving in to take out a high-profile target that will get plenty of people's attention, especially Advent. Move to lock down the area and eliminate any security forces nearby. Yay, Bradford! Last but not least, if you are excited for some more XCOM, leave a like. I would appreciate it. Menace 1-5. So, here we are. Move to place the Let's see who we got. Uh, we actually got a Reaper. I usually start with a Templar, I didn't actually check that option for this campaign, so we got a Reaper, which is fine. I'm okay with that. So, we got Quagger here, we got Miso, and we got Mr. Fox. So, let's do this. We are going in this direction. The first mission is always a little bit annoying, because there's not a whole lot you can really do. You can shoot, throw grenades, overwatch and hunker down. That's about it. <laughs> and since we have a Reaper, we can also use a Claymore. So I suppose that's helpful. It might be best to use the high ground over here. Yeah, probably. So let's just move in this general direction. And we'll set up on top of the building. Can't go wrong with high ground. I will go. Having a Reaper for this one is actually quite useful, because it makes it much easier to scout around. Alright, so Quagger needs to be up here. Oh, and I am also using go, go, go. Uh, at least one class I haven't used before which was actually a recommendation from either the comments or Discord. Uh, I don't remember, but it was a recommendation from someone. Alright, let's wait one more turn. I will shelter here. And then we can attack them. Alright then. So probably best if we just take a shot and overwatch with two people. I would prefer to keep my Reaper concealed so that I will be able to scout around some more. I think we'll do that. We don't see any other groups in range right now. It should be fine if we stay over here. They will not move that close, at least I don't think so. Alright, so let's go for Overwatch with Miso and Mr. Fox, and we'll take a shot with Quagger. Alright, please don't miss, I kind of need that damage here. There we go, nice one. We got a kill right away. So hopefully we'll kill at least one more. Or hit the officer, that would be good. Nope. And no. Yeah, that's not great. I might actually use the Reaper now. 
Now, I could throw the claymore, but I don't think that would be a good idea right now. I could flank the trooper, but I'm not guaranteed to kill the trooper, because our weapon does 3 to 4 damage. I would need to either crit or do 4 non-crit damage. It's also possible I'll see another group when I move in over here. So that would be even more risky. Still, we can move forward and take a look. Okay, looks clear. Now, this is still a little bit risky, because I risk getting revealed. And if I get revealed, that officer will be able to flank me. But I mean, this is just the first mission, whatever. Let's do it. Yeah, see, only 3 damage. So that was actually a bit unlucky. And we got revealed on top of that. That was quite literally the worst possible outcome there. Okay, that's a flashbang. Now, the trooper will not kill me, because he can't do 7 damage in one shot. But I will be wounded. And now the other guys are disoriented. So, let's kill that trooper, shall we? Probably best if we move into full cover. To stay away from the officer. I can use Shadow. But not right now. First, let's kill him. Oh, we actually did not kill him. With 93% chance to hit, really. That's unfortunate. Okay, that really sucks, actually. I can try to take a shot, but since I'm disoriented, my chance to hit will be a little bit low. Definitely not as high as it could have been. Yeah, only 66% from a flank and high ground. There we go, got him. Now, probably best if we hunker down, because I don't want that officer to kill me. Might even be better to spread out a bit. So let's hunker down. He still has full health. Yep, and he still hit us. Not that he's oriented anymore. So I think I'll just throw a grenade here. Let's go with that. For some guaranteed damage. And we'll also blow up his cover. That's the more important part. Nice one. So now I can conceal myself again and scout around. Uh, I'll also need to pick up the lot. But I won't be charging it. Okay, so let's use Shadow to conceal ourselves and we'll go grab the lot. And I might as well overwatch in case more enemies show up. Yeah, there's a group. Two groups. Yes, Tygon, we know. Maybe I can get them to move close enough to our high ground. Advanced stock! Right away, very nice. Okay, that's a very good start right there. That's a nice mod to get right away in the first mission. Yeah, I think I'll try to just wait on the high ground and have them come to me. That would be best. We can reload. They aren't that far away. And since I have a concealed reaper, I can track their movements. So then I'll know for a fact if they are about to get into my range. Okay, let's just go with that. We can stay in this full cover. Might as well reload. I still have my claymore. That will probably come in handy. I definitely don't want to fight both groups at the same time. Yeah, see, now they are moving away. But they will probably come back. 
I'm pretty sure they will come back. It's not like we are in a huge rush. This is not a timed mission or anything like that. And while I'm okay having someone wounded, I don't want to actually lose anyone. Yeah, let's move a bit closer again. Yeah, now they are way too far. I could always just move forward with one person, set up overwatch just outside of their range, and then let them trigger like that. That might be a good solution here. So we can move forward with one person, I'm going. set up overwatch, and then keep track with the reaper. Absolutely. So let's just do that. Maybe not the fastest way to do this, but like I said, I don't want to risk closing anyone. Where the heck are they now? Okay, now they are literally on the other side of the map. I might have to move forward with everyone. I don't think civilians will move. It would be a bit awkward if a civilian revealed me. Yeah, I don't know about this. I think I'll have to move forward with everyone. Which is a bit unfortunate, but oh well. Fine. I guess he can't always keep the high ground. Let's just be careful. So this will do. Come on now. Are they coming back or what? There is also another group and I don't know where that one is. Whatever you say. Now we do have one wounded person. Would be best to have him in full cover. Okay. And slightly further away. Fire shots. Okay, let's go with this. I'm hoping they will come back here. Okay, there's the other group. So we could go for that one. That might be a better idea. Probably easier to kill that one right now. And it's just troopers. So basically the easiest group in this mission. Let's go with that. As long as I don't miss terribly, they should be pretty easy to get rid of. Here we go. Okay, they are just outside of our range. Yep. They are basically one tile outside of my range. If they move at all, we will see them. Come on then. I need them to trigger my overwatch. That's what I need. That's basically what I'm doing. It's an ambush without being concealed. That's what it is. Yeah, see, now they are moving away from us. I could just charge them, but heck no, I'm not doing that. Okay, there's the sectoid. This actually worked out. There, one hit. One hit out of three. I'll take it. Better than nothing. Now we can kill one group and then deal with the troopers. I still have my reaper. So I could maybe kill the sectoid here. We do have a little bit of full cover. I can also move left. I could also throw a grenade, that's an option. I can handle that. But not with Quagger. Uh, still, I think throwing a grenade might be the best idea here. That will destroy the Sectoid's cover. And then I can take a shot with my Reaper. And hopefully we won't miss terribly. So moving a little bit is probably good here. I don't want to be too close to the troopers. For obvious reasons, I think. We can even stand back here. That's acceptable. 81% chance to kill the sectoid. Please don't miss. And we missed. What the heck? What's up with his accuracy? Or her, whatever. And we got revealed on top of that. That was really bad. That was really bad. 
Okay, then. So I can move forward into full cover, but I don't necessarily want to do that. But that's the only spot with full cover, right here. That's a bit too close to the trooper group. And the missile is already wounded. Not an ideal solution. I do have a chance to kill that heavy, if I get a crit. Let's just try it from partial cover. I might regret it, but hopefully not. Please don't miss twice in a row. This isn't even a very high chance to hit, unfortunately. There we go, got it. So now we can take a shot at the heavy. Nice. Not a kill, but heck, I'll take it. He can only do three non-crit damage. He will run away to join the troopers. Unfortunately, I can't conceal myself anymore, but I still have the claymore. The best solution now is probably to just spam overwatch. I know that's not the most exciting tactic of all times, but I got some wounded people, I don't want to risk getting them killed. Yeah, they are coming already. Uh, that looked like a hit, but apparently not. I still got that claymore and some grenades. Might be best to throw a claymore and then detonate it with a grenade. Uh, that's not very good. Not that my chance to hit was amazing, but... Okay, slightly better. We kill the heavy. Okay, how do we do this then? I'm not close enough to throw the claymore. So probably best to just move into full cover and take a shot or two. Because the claymore... well, maybe I was. But they are a bit far away. A bit too far away for my taste. Here's my grenade on Miso. He is wounded, unfortunately. Let's just try to kill one of them the regular way. Yeah, not bad. Killing at least one of them would be good. Because that reduces the risk they will kill someone. What's up with this Reaper, man? That was not good at all. Well then... Roger. Fox still has full health. He can maybe act as bait. I need this to hit. I need at least one kill here. Nope. Yeah, this is really not great at all. I think the best I can do with a miso is move into full cover and overwatch. Now, these guys can only do three non-crit damage. So it's not too bad. But there are three of them. And nope, not even remotely close. Uh, to be fair, the chance to hit there was pretty low. But still. Okay, everyone should stay alive now. But I still got three targets to take care of. Their aim is not any better than ours, apparently. Okay, let's do this. I might just throw that claymore or something. Yeah, see, I could just kill this guy. Probably best. I mean, what else am I going to use that claymore for? Nothing. Here, that will do the trick. Wait, or not. I really thought that will work. Apparently I was mistaken. <laughs> okay, this is awkward. I really thought that will work. Please hit. Now would be a good moment to throw that grenade. I'm not going to risk leaving all three of them alive right now. So let's just get that kill. Done. Still got one more shot. Basically 50% chance to kill him. Done. So that leaves us with one single target. 
Even if he hits someone, he can't actually kill anyone. He would need a crit, which he has 0% chance to do. Alright, this was a pretty long first mission. But everyone stayed alive. I don't think I actually played a campaign starting with a Reaper before. I pretty much always start with a Templar, so this will be a little bit different. He has full coverage, so this is not great. I might have to just move closer and flank him. Or take a shot with really low chance to hit. I will go. Give me time to reload. Will he move? Okay, yeah, he's moving. Nice one. We're done, basically. We're not picking up any inbound contacts. All right, nice. We have a limited window to act before Advent responds. We need to get those charges planted. Well, that's the most annoying part of the game done, because I really don't like doing the first mission. I don't like not having like any abilities at all. So I'm glad we got that done. With no casualties. Advent officials revealed today's maneuver by local peacekeepers was a planned exercise. Citizens should not Now I have no idea how much harder the campaign will be with the hive and the hive more mods. I haven't really tested them much, <laughs> so we'll find out. We're doing it live. Alright, promotions. Just like it sounds, our sharpshooters engage in So Mr. Fox will be a sharpshooter. Operating some of our most Quagger will be a specialist. Alright then. And finally, Misa will be a grenadier. Good. Alright then. And we got that advanced stock. That will be really useful early on. Now, let's get started on the base. I will build the resistance ring first. So that we can start working on that right away. We don't have any engineers yet, that will have to wait. Let's check research. So, modular weapons first. Find that area of research to be and then we can go to the bridge. Commander. Yay, Bradford! Your feet again. Welcome to the bridge. The nerve center of our operation. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything. Government, communications, industry, not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. So, okay, let's do this. Different means of resistance. And there's our Reaper. Fight for the same reason. For the world we it doesn't look like the Reaper got a name from the character pool, so I'll probably rename her manually. We don't rely on the alien's technology, and we would never live in their cities. We are the hunters. Okay, so... Shadows, and we won't sleep. Let's grab the load right away. Is dead at our feet. Avenger Obviously. We have made a number of new discoveries. We've got the modular weapons. So next up, hybrid materials, I guess. I agree. That is an important task, Commander. We got her trigger. I would have preferred a stock, but it's fine. Or scope. Supplies. Avenger Let's go grab that. We should be getting a mission soon. Yep, there it is. So, engineer as a reward. I think we can do that really quick. Like, in this episode. I think that's fine. 
Setting course for and I think Miso has recovered. I saw some message. Yep. Okay, so we got that advanced stock. I think I'll give it to the specialist. I could also give advanced stock to the rookie. Uh, that's Garantio here. That will make it easier to get a kill on him. I like that idea, let's do that. Then we also have laser sight and hair trigger. I'll probably keep laser sight for a shotgun or so. But there we go, advanced stock for you. And then... We still got hair trigger. Which I could use for the other assault rifle. Yeah, might as well. It's only 5%, but you never know. It will trigger eventually. And that's all I can really do. Nothing else here. Well, I could bring a medkit, actually. That's probably a good idea. Let's do that real quick. And I could also get a flashbang grenade, but I prefer a medkit. At least first. So, Quagger can get the medkit. Okay, done. Let's go then. No other changes here. Alright, let's go. We just got a tip from a resistance contact in the field. A high-ranking Advent officer was spotted moving through the area with limited escorts. This could be a chance for us to disrupt their current operations and throw off their command structure. Your well, here we are. That officer with extreme prejudice. Unfortunately, no Reaper for this one, because the Reaper is still wounded. But that's okay. Let's move. Interesting starting location here. Locate the Advent Mech prototype. Wreck the Mech. Neutralize enemy targets. Alright. We got a little bit of high ground here. Probably a good idea to use that. Yeah, let's just send one person up here, that's fine. Uh, yep, I think we discovered something, because I can't tab. Yep, there's a group inside. Alright. I am concealed, so they did not see me. But now I know they are there. And we are actually time limited here. Might be best to just move towards the objective. Uh, hold on, this is like the reinforcement area or something. Well, either way, we should just move quickly. <laughs> because I don't want to run out of time. I can't afford to just mess around. I'll just take this shot, to be honest. I don't think wasting a grenade here is a good idea right away, but we can definitely take that shot. Okay, let's do it. Roger that. And some overwatch. We can overwatch from up here as well. Understood, moving out. So overwatch. Overwatch with Garantio and let's take that shot. 67%. Nope. Well, hopefully somebody will hit. I kind of need someone to hit at least once. We will do at least 2 damage guaranteed, because we have advanced stock. 3 damage. That's it. Okay then. Yeah, 3 damage. I don't have a medkit this time around. It looks like I'll have to use it pretty early. Alright, let's open with Fox. We'll take that shot. Good one. That's one way to remove Overwatch. There's the medkit. So I can kill this guy with my advanced stock. How about that? So this is guaranteed to be a kill. I love stock. And that's a promotion. 
So, let's maybe heal up, shall we? Yeah, that would be best. I don't want to risk anyone getting killed. Heal back to full. Alright, now I don't want to move too much because if I trigger another group, I'm not prepared for that. We'll just reload and overwatch. Okay, looks clear. So let's move. Uh, who's going first? It doesn't really matter too much. Let's open this door on the left and stay inside the building. Okay, it's fine. I could set up on the high ground with at least one person. That should probably be the sniper. However, this building in the middle does not technically have a roof. So I can't set up on the roof because the roof is technically not there. <laughs> that makes it a bit awkward. Yeah, that would make line of sight a little bit challenging. Because if I set up here, that other building might block my line of sight. Which is not what I want. Hopefully some patrol will find me and trigger overwatch. But I'm not going to wait and count on that. Because, you know, Absolutely. we are time limited. Same Some full cover, good. Nothing. Absolutely. There we go. Okay, there's the mech prototype. So it's only one mech, but this is very early into the game. And another group on the left. Yeah, that makes it a little bit tricky. And now I kind of have to move into cover because I'm being flanked. I have to move with everyone here. So I guess now I can set up on the high ground. Preferably here so that the mech will not be able to target my sniper. Yeah, this is a bit unfortunate because now I have to move basically with everyone. Let's spread out because the mech might use micro missiles. He will almost certainly do that. Can I spread out enough, however? Maybe. Over here might not be enough. That's my concern. Yeah, let's just play it safe and spread out. These two people might still be too close to each other, but we'll find out. Yeah, that mech might be slightly annoying to deal with. He is using suppression. That's acceptable. Yeah, Roland is taking damage. Please don't kill my sniper, thank you very much. Yeah, that's a bit too close for my taste. What's the range on our grenade? I might have to move up here. Yeah, this is not great. I need to break that overwatch, that much is clear. It would be best to just throw a grenade, because I need to shred that armor. Especially when I'm using crappy ballistic weapons. So then... Well, I do have 8 protocol for extra defense, but Fox will die if he takes literally one more damage. That's less than ideal. Let's move into full cover and then take a shot. Now, he might still use micro missiles on me, but... Well, hold on, I can stay where I am. And I could actually use aid protocol first and then take a shot. Maybe even use it on Fox, but I'll move him out of here. So, plus 20 defense for Fox and then we'll take a shot at the mech. Nice one. Now, if I hit, I will destroy the mech. I could technically use the grenade here, but I think I'd rather save it for other targets. It's 72% chance to kill it. It would be a granted kill with the grenade. 
You know what, let's just go for the granted kill. It's technically a bit of a waste of a grenade, but whatever, I don't want to risk missing that mech. And we had some really unlucky misses in the previous mission. Now, uh, we need to move Fox into safety. So probably just move into this building. He won't be able to take any shots, but he won't get killed either. I obviously don't want him to get killed. As you might imagine. I should be able to handle this without him. I still got one grenade. And these guys are not exactly dangerous. Okay, so... One of them is on Overwatch. And I can break that with stock. I love having stock this early on. That's going to be very helpful for the initial stage of the campaign. See, I missed there, but stock did two damage and we removed Overwatch. Perfect. So the other guy is still on Overwatch, but I actually don't really have to move if I don't want to. Locked and loaded. Let's take a shot. Nope. One more. I just need to hit, that's it. Come on, bro. There we go, one down. That's right. The other guy can't do more than three damage, so we should be fine. I assume there's going to be at least one more group. Yep, yeah, he's running away to join it. Right there, I saw a gunslinger briefly. I should be able to kill him before he joins that group. Yes, he's right there. Let's see if we can kill him. Nice one! So now we could just overwatch and wait for that group. I know roughly what it is. And we are not on a timer anymore. Probably best to just overwatch. I could even set up Fox, like over here. He will get a range penalty, but he might be able to take a shot and make himself useful without risking death. Scanning. There they are. They are coming. Uh, nope. Good. One more? Or is that it? Uh, that's it. The sectoid has some load. No, one more shot. Nice one. Okay, and we still have one grenade. I think they are close enough to each other to hit them both with a grenade. Uh, yes, they are. Heck yeah, let's go with that. I suppose I could have reloaded first, but it doesn't really make a difference in this situation. Can Fox actually take a shot? Yes, he can. Let's do that. Nice one. They didn't quite need that crit, but... Go you. Kill the sectoid. Uh, Overwatch might be better here. So let's give Fox a protocol just in case. He is out of range of the sectoid right now, but the sectoid could move forward. We'll take this shot and then Overwatch. Yeah, I didn't get it. With Garantio. I mean, I can take a shot and do two damage, but I can also Overwatch. Oh, screw that. Let's do two damage. And then I can get a guaranteed kill on the next turn with the other two damage. Where are you going? Okay, I think he had different plans. Well, never mind that. <laughs> so much for my stock. Can we get that kill? Not quite. Yeah, now I have to kill the sectoid. Otherwise, I'll take damage from my own dude. There we go, done. And the mission is finished. Nice. And we got some loot from the sectoid. That was a good one. And we got some promotions. 
So Garantio is going to be psionic. Okay, that's good. And then Miso got a promotion. Uh, that's going to be Shredder. And Quagger also got a promotion. So I don't like both combat protocol and medical protocol, but I'm going to grab medical protocol. Especially with like all the extra chrysalids that we will be getting in this campaign, I think medical protocol will be more important. Now unfortunately Fox will be wounded for a month, but he's still alive, that's what matters. We got advanced laser sight. Alright then. And a bunch of corpses, obviously. Hello, Commander. The council you once knew is no more. Its membership have all sworn loyalty to the Advent Administration. With one exception. It is good to see you again. In the days since your capture, I have done all I can to aid the resistance from the inside. It was these resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. As of now, resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this before it is too late. What you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians from across the world. Their numbers are growing. We suspect they have been taken to a nearby Advent Black Site, though its exact location remains unknown. Time is short, Commander. We need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold. Find this black site and shut it down. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Commander. Man, I missed XCOM. New objective added. I really hope we'll get like at least some information about whatever the next XCOM game is going to be this year. <laughs> it would be nice to know something by the end of this year. Hello, We're ready Commander. to move when you are. But we'll see. I've updated our objectives based on the latest. Well, there's our engineer. So let's assign him right away. And it looks like Fox got overly aggressive. Negative trade. Chance to take a shot immediately after going on Overwatch. <laughs> okay. Interesting. So I can either speed up the ring or start removing alien debris. I think I would like to start using the ring as soon as possible. So let's speed that up. That way it will be done in nine days. Commander, we have a lead on the alien black site. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, some rookies. Get us into the facility. We can also grab the supplies. Their forces in the region as soon as possible. I mean, there's no huge rush to get the rookies. Let's get the supplies first. Hybrid materials research is almost done. There it is. Okay, and we can just go for resistance communications. I'll see that work That's 10 days. Commander, I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Yeah, you'll do that. Okay, and there's the mission from the Reapers. Let's see what we'll get out of that. We'll get a scientist, a rocketeer, which is one of the classes I'm using, modded classes, and 77 Intel. There's also Advent Training Exercises, CTREP, and the Horde. Wait, how does that work? Advent retreated from this area, leaving only large amounts of the lost. So that implies there will be no Advent, but the second one clearly implies there will be Advent. <laughs> okay then. Well, I guess there probably will be Advent. However, I'll be doing that one in the next episode, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this first episode of 2021 XCOM 2 campaign. Leave a like if you did, that really helps, especially on the first part. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.